All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Island Edition. <laughs> oh, I want to see what I, what what the uh, what I didn't do. I get, didn't get ten headshots. Okay. Needed for guards for camp. There are no guards for camp. Canned fruit and vegetables. Gonna need literally all the food we can get. What is this? Guess it's my turn for guard duty. All right, good, good. This one is the closest, I guess. See what? anything? Micah. Morning. How are you coping? Hanging in there. Just keep your fingers crossed. Sure, Morgan. Because, I mean, holy hell, how do you really cope with that? I don't know, I just woke up one day hoping to rob a bank, and now I've been thrust into a, uh, a rebel movement against a bunch of plantationers on an island in which I cannot speak the language nor really fully understand where I'm at. doing here. Oh, okay. Am I meeting somebody? Shit. Oh, I shit. Don't look good. Nope. Uh, ah. Oh, no. Still trying to get to the other workers. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. But this, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go. Oh. Oh. Come. Follow me. Stay close behind me. 
I know a way we can sneak around. No, I'm, okay. I'm not going anywhere, so... Quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that, sir? Shh. One of her accused men. Quick! Hide. Over there. Que todo es una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Okay, they moved. Come on, keep close behind me. You're rather loud. Come on, follow me. Another one! Hide! Quick! Okay, follow me. Keep quiet. Por ratas. ¿Ratas? Criado por el mismo diablo. ¿We good? Right. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso, ¿ah? ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. Looks like we're in the clear, so just there we go. Let's go. Stay close. Maldito bastardo! Get them down from there. Shoot the ropes. I already did. They probably heard that. Este 
Mongo valiente le salvó la vida. Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptist. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Not much we can really do with money right now, but... Long uh, dead. Yeah, I just kind of fucked hey. up. And I lost a shotgun. Which, that's just lovely. Okay, let's, uh, go see about getting Javier back with Dutch. feel comfortable running around here without my gun drawn. I've been shown very frequently what happens when you're not prepared. We need to climb up here. There he is. Hey! Hey. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Hercule spoke of and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to Sandiné? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes? <laughs> We're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Camilo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Ay. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. <sighs> Take that man. 
Jesus. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us? Yes, he was. At the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh, so, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this Hurt Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. The door is stopped. You will have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <laughs> Arthur, come help me with this. Just right. lift it. Okay, then. Lifting and okay, just a, just a bit more. What a fate. This way. See, si. then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I'm just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? No. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Sí que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno. Ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos, carajo! they've been just kicking his ass since we got here? They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. I'm right here. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. 
On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. Okay. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me, Arthur. We'll cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. <laughs> of course. How well did that work the last time? Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me podría costar mujeres que usan zapatos. Tienes algo de tomar? Como sabías, porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. All right. Es una mierda. Más bajo de una civilización. Buenos días. Okay. Oh, now yeah. we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. No problem. You'll see. All right. Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. This place will go. Just need to, uh, okay. Just sabotage the uh, objective. Release valve. Get this going. All right. We'd better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I'm right behind you. to that building when it goes up. Come on, we can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Oh boy, Jesus. Come on, Javier. 
I'm trying. That should have been the nuts. Jesus. We're gonna have to deal with these bastards first, Arthur. Stay there, Javier. Arthur and I will hold them They've been torturing them for okay, hours. It's like I said, Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. 
Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Okay, let's see what all the fuss is about. So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You kinda have to hand it to this fella. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we win. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> All right. Shoot them, man. Shoot ah, them. Fellers on the beach. I see. There's more coming down ah. the right side of the beach. This is bad. You want to come in? Why the hell are we doing this? This ain't our fight. Do you want to get off this island or not? He's using us. Well, shoot. I know. Look We're kind of in the list. middle of it either way. Because if we don't, we're gonna die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me. This is kind of fun. Kinda. Shooting them down.
clear. We need to put a serious hole in that boat. Sounds good. From here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions. So when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hey, cool? Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hey, cool? We follow you. Hanale, this way. Quick! Let's get up around the back of that artillery. That sounds good. There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one, okay? Explosive. 
explosives. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, my kid. <laughs> Come on, run! Yeah, they heard that, did they? Come on! There's another set of cannons up ahead! Let's clear them out. Wait here for a second for the others to catch up. I'll get the dynamite rigged on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view. Get up here, Arthur. Excellent. I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are, which is why you're going to let us leave. Or you are dying right here, my friend. We've killed better men than you fools. Enough? Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Or are you gonna die? Put your guns down. <laughs> Oops. Enough? Oh, I've had enough of this. Arthur, the rifle? Sure. 
You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Captain Sam... Let's go. Gentlemen! In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. This goddamn idiot. Come on! We shoot him. We have to take him down. Okay, there's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. Hey, There's the cannon. Here. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> We survived. Just about. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. We don't cut and run now, head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck has turned. You know? I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family. We get some money and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen, I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. 
But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Okay. Back up to some town. Guess I might as well steal a horse.
Let's go, girl. Yep. Okay, just in case. I think we're close. Is that Pearson and Abigail? Arthur! Arthur's here! <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Come inside. Come on, it's raining. <laughs> hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all doing? Yeah. Hey, old man, wake up. <laughs> hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody get me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. Was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We... we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangman on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Yeah. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, the United States government and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Everyone get down! Damn it! Arthur, phone me! This is three Bill's big ass goddamn right. mouth. Right behind you, see. Okay. Where are we going? This way. There's a trap door into the other house. Lead the way. We try to flank them. Now I will show strength and you may mistake it for brutality. There 
is no escape for any of you. I shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time. I killed your friends. really start to irritate me. Okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. Well, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sure. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean, so we're gonna have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you gonna do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's Tonka hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss I. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my the boy's heart. Please do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern, a million avenue. Okay. Damn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we gone through. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the empire, that was a shit show if ever there was a definition for one. So I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And uh, we will be back tomorrow with a solution, I hope. <laughs> See ya. Thank you.